ओके लेट्स डू प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फादर्स एज इज फोर टाइम द एज ऑफ इज एल्डर सन एंड फाइव टाइम द एज ऑफ इज यंगर सन फादर्स एज इज फोर टाइम द एज ऑफ एल्डर सन फाइव टाइम द एज ऑफ इज यंगर सन वेन द एल्डर सन हैज लिव टू थ्री टाइम इज प्रेजेंट एज देन फादर्स एज विल एक्सीड ट्वाइस दैट ऑफ इज यंगर सन बाई थ्री ईयर्स वॉट इज द फादर्स एज Now in this question, typically we tend to get confused in these first couple of lines. Father's age is four times the age of elder son, five times the age of younger son. To make your calculation easier, assume the age to a father to be multiple of five and four, or five and four twenty. So let me assume the father's age is twenty x. So if I say father's age is twenty x, elder son's age is el father's age is four times the age of his elder son. Should be. 5x and younger son's age is 4x now this will help you cut down on your calculation effort anything else if you say like the younger son be x the father be 5x and the elder son become 1.25x you will end up in decimals and your calculation will become a little difficult it is always advantageous if you write it this way if the father's age is four times the age of the elder and five times the age of younger the Multiple or the LCM of four and five is twenty. Let the father's age be twenty x. And similarly, you can get the age of elder and the younger son. Let's come to the second condition. These are the current ages. When the elder son has lived to three times his present age, three times his present age is fifteen x. Then father's age will exceed twice of his younger son by three years. So, so elder son's age has gone from five x to fifteen x. So, how much time has elapsed? Ten x. So, what happens to the father's age when the son, elder son becomes fifteen uh, x? Father's age will become thirty x, and similarly, the younger son's age will become fourteen x. I hope this is clear. This is the key thing out here. When the elder son's age becomes three times from five x, he has become fifteen x. So, the time elapsed from five x to fifteen x is fifteen minus five, which is ten x. So 10x has to be added to the father's and the younger son's age also to get their age at this particular point of time. Okay. Now what does the question say? Father's age will exceed. Father's age is 30x. Will exceed that of his younger son. That of will exceed twice of that of his younger son. I'm sorry, it is twice. Will exceed twice of that of his younger son by three years. So. This becomes 30 minus 28, so this means 2x is equal to 3, or x is equal to 1.5. Okay. Now you can get everything else. What is the father's age? Father's current age is 20 into 1.5, 30 years. So in this question, there were two things which you had to be careful about. First, that age of father should be 20x. Why 20x? So that it becomes four times the elder son and Five times the younger son. Since twenty is a multiple of four and five, my calculation will become easy. I will not get into decimals unnecessarily. Second thing, when the elder son's age becomes three times from current age of five x, if he becomes fifteen x, the time period which has elapsed or the number of years passed is ten x. So in ten x, so ten x years have passed, or hence the father's age from twenty x should become. Now, 30x, and the younger son's age from 4x, it should become 14x. These were the two key things which you need to be careful about in this question, and then it is not a difficult one.